Hey everyone, and welcome to my new tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to smooth out keyframes in DaVinci Resolve. Instead of this, we are going to create this. And without further ado, let's go. Here I am inside of the DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna head down to the project settings, and I'm gonna set the frame rate to 30 FPS. I'm gonna leave the resolution as 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna click on save. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using one transparent image. I have it in my folder. I'm gonna drag it in to my timeline like this. I'm gonna minimize media pool. We don't need it. And now I'm gonna open the inspector tab. I'm gonna put my playhead here on the first frame. And now I'm just gonna resize this circle a little bit. I'm gonna zoom it out to let's say 0.15. Uh, this should be good enough. And let's say we're gonna position this circle to the left side. We're gonna click here on the diamond button to create our first keyframe, and then we're gonna move to let's say around, let's say two seconds. And we're gonna move this to the right side. Now if we play this, we're gonna see that this is a linear animation. Now in order to smooth this animation, we're gonna click here on this button. This is a retime curve, and we can see here that position X is selected. So we have our two keyframes here. We can select both keyframes, and click here on this little tool, like so. And now we get this handle. Now we can play around with this as we like. We can create this small S curve, like so. And now if we play this, we're gonna see that the animation is smooth. And you can always play around with this graph. But when it comes to smoothing out keyframes, I wouldn't recommend this method. Because for example, if position Y and zoom are also animated, we will have to include them here as well. And we can see that each of them has a different graph, which can be inconvenient to edit. I really recommend using Fusion for all types of animations that you have. Now we're gonna minimize this and insert the circle again. Now I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna zoom this out the same way zoom we zoomed the other one out to the 0 0.150. Now we can right click on this and create a new Fusion clip. We can position our playhead in the first frame here, like so. I'm gonna right click on this and open in Fusion page. Now since we're here, I'm just gonna click here so we have one viewer, we don't need the other one. And now let's say we want to add some background to this so it's not on the transparent layer, I'm gonna click here on the background node, I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna drag it here onto this line. Now we can see that on this merge node, our media in is our background input and our background image is our foreground input. I'm just gonna right click this and click on swap inputs. I'm gonna move a little bit like this just so it's organized. Put the background here. I'm gonna move the media one here and while it's selected I'm gonna put in the transform node. Now this is gonna allow me to move it around. I'm gonna hit ctrl z just to undo that. And now let's say we want to have the same animation. I'm gonna hold this handle and move it to the left side around here and then I'm gonna click on the diamond button, place a keyframe, now we're gonna move to let's say two seconds on our timeline, like here, and then we're gonna drag that all the way to the right. Now we can see that this is going to be our animation if we play through this like so. We will see how it moves. Now in order to make these keyframes smooth, I'm gonna go here to the top right and open the spline editor. Now if your spline editor is not like this, you can make sure to shrink this just so you get more space. Here we can see we have the transform one. This is our transform one, and this is where we animated these two keyframes. I'm gonna select this just to view the graph, and then I'm gonna click here to zoom to fit, just so you can see both. If you think that this is too zoomed in, you can always hold down control and zoom out on your mouse wheel. Now I'm gonna select both of these keyframes and press S on my keyboard, or you can go here to make them smooth. Now if we go back to the beginning, and we can set the render range to let's say two seconds. I'm gonna move this like so. And I'm gonna play this and we can see how the animation is gonna be smooth. Also, if you don't want to see these outlines or these controls, you can always right click on the viewer, go to options and uncheck the show controls. Or you can press control plus K on your keyboard. And now in order to make the same animation as demonstrated in the beginning of this tutorial, we're gonna play with this graph. 
I'm gonna select both of these keyframes and I'm gonna press T on my keyboard to open ease in and ease out. And let's say I'm gonna ease out this to maximum and then I'm gonna ease in also to maximum. Now when we play this, we're gonna see the same animation as demonstrated in the beginning. Now if we want to lope this, we can extend the render area. So let's say this is two seconds, we're gonna go to four seconds. Now we can move back to the first frame and then we can copy the X value from here. I'm gonna select it and press Control C. Now I'm gonna move back to the fourth second and I'm gonna paste this value there. It's gonna create another keyframe. Now if I click the mouse wheel, we can move around in this editor. Now I will select both of these keyframes and I'm gonna press S on my keyboard. I'm gonna select this keyframe and I'm gonna ease in to 100. And then I'm gonna select this keyframe and then we can see that ease in is already 100. Now we need to do the ease out. I'm gonna put it also to 100. And now we can get the looping animation on the circle. I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna play it. And that's it for this tutorial. If you would like to learn more, you can check the other DaVinci Resolve tutorials on my channel. I'll see you in the next one.